What are you addicted to that is perfectly legal? Buying video games and never playing them. There's an item on your wish list that's on sale for a penny. Buy it now so you can put off playing it until 2045. My computer. Going back to sleep after I wake up. Staying up late to enjoy the peace and quiet that comes at 1 a.m. Laying around and never getting anything done. My dream is to be horizontal most of the time. I believe you are referring to death. Lol yeah can't wait. Procrastination. Caffeine. Me too. The only substance I am addicted to. I thought I could quit caffeine cold turkey. Nope. Day 3, I had the worst headache in my life. Never knew how physically dependent I was on caffeine. I quit caffeine in February and haven't touched anything with it in since. This morning I felt like having a coffee and it felt like I was on speed. Heart beating like crazy. This is the best part. I quit caffeine about 5 years ago and now if I really need a pick me up on a rare occasion, 13 cup of coffee has my hands shaking by the time I'm done. Sugar. Whenever mates went for a smoke break, I had my Haribo break. I imagine you just pulling out a pack of Haribos at a point when many people might pull out a cigarette. Winding down at a bar waiting on a bus trying to look cool just had sex. Now I want to put some gummy worms in a cigarette box and flip one upside down like a lucky worm. Coke in an instant ramen edit, Coca-Cola. How's prison life treating you? Gotta get that picante beef ramen. Sprinkle Abbott on top for some of that crispy snap. Using cotton swabs in ear I know it pushes earwax in deeper, but damn it it feels good. Ever use one of those ear rinse squeeze ball things? They're about $5 at the pharmacy, you fill it with warm water and squeeze and it flushes out your ear. As a fellow cotton swap addict, I suggest about 10 flushes in each side and you might be shocked and awed by what comes out. Edit, Amazon.ca that's what I use, sorry, more than I remembered, but looks like others are posting kits that are a little more advanced, I might have to level up. Edit 2, a couple points people keep asking, the water should be quite warm, but not hot, you could keep warming it up each successive rinse, but definitely don't start with cold water. Also, don't squeeze crazy hard, same thing as with the temp, start gently and ramp it up, I don't jam the end of it in too far either. Use the first couple attempts to dial all these things in a bit starting by erring on the side of caution. If you're hesitant, or unsure because of different ear issues, maybe go in and ask an expert to do it for you. At least then you'll have a better idea how it all feels. Edit 3, that's not an affiliate link. I've had a few people comment and message about it, I just searched for the product on Amazon and copypasted one of the first links that showed what I use. Alcohol. I'm a functioning alcoholic. Help me please edit, after reading a lot of these, I've decided to check out a few resources. Biggest issue I have is I just have no enjoyment of things without it. Thanks for tips I've been sent. Check out Smart Recovery if you aren't a fan of the AA approach. That same advice, when I first heard it, quite possibly saved me from a short and miserable existence not worthy of calling life. I still do AA sometimes too even though I don't take away as much as many, but Smart was a game changer for me. Takeaway delivery. To the point that I'm angry while choosing my order and eating it. I think I have a genuine problem. Edit to address some common themes, takeaway delivery is not oxymoronic in my dialect. It's a perfectly common phrase meaning a takeaway meal that has instead been delivered. In British dialect, a takeaway refers to the type of eatery, not necessarily the manner in which you receive the food. In my particular circumstance, I'm referring to weekday lunches. I already get a combination of HelloFresh and groceries for dinner, and I'm a perfectly good cook. I appreciate the suggestions, but any suggesting I simply learn to cook are pretty moot at this point. I've become aware this sounds a lot like binge eating disorder. I'll be looking into it and getting professional help if I need to. Quite a few people have indicated they'd like a subreddit for group support for this kind of issue. I find it really hard to believe that one doesn't already exist, but if I can't find one, I'll make one and invite those who have indicated interest. Thank you for all the kind, genuinely useful and heartwarming comments. It's nice to know I'm not alone and not destined to live like this forever. Pringle One solitary Pringle 
Once he pops the fun does stop. Beat Saber. I'm a 44-year-old dad. On my second game ever I almost scored a perfect on a hard level, missing only 3 blocks. I've been hooked ever since. I've been mock sword fighting with a Renfair group since I was a teen, so I think that might have something to do with it. The phrase I've been hearing a lot is fitness is the killer app for VR. What's crazy is the demographics. The CEO of the Supernatural VR app, I think it's Beat Saber vibes but more fitness focused, was on a podcast recently, Decoder, and he mentioned over 60% of their users are over 40. That's a wildly different kind of growth than what new tech is used to. Chocolate. Hashtag Chuakalai. Runaway Patrick. My phone. Anyone else feel ashamed when they get their weekly screen time report? Chapstick edit, in case anyone is interested, I don't use Chapstick the brand but Lipsil cause it's cheap and Vaseline at home cause it's bomb. Chapstick the brand sucks and dries your lips out, I just don't know what other general term you'd use for the stuff. Edit 2, lip balm is the term I'm looking for. Thanks guys lol it's been a long day week year life. Are you my daughter? Every Christmas I fill her stocking with around 30 tubes of whatever brand she prefers right then and by November she's out. I even got her little keychain chapstick holders last year since she had her own car keys finally. How many extra tubes do you think it would take to tide her over for that last month? That must be aggravating, having the yearly supply run out right before you refill it. In fairness, not all of them were entirely used. She misplaces or has friends swipe a fair number of them. I always tell her that after the Christmas supply is tapped, she's got to get her own. She's fine with that so it works out. I think she usually buys five or six more to get through. Does she have chapped lips in all her Christmas photos? Spicy food, it tastes so good. This is scientifically backed. The man, Smoke and Ed, who bred the Carolina Reaper is an ex-addict and used the endorphins addictive qualities of hot foods to get him off hard drugs. Hess a huge advocate for it. Must be why I've never been even close to tempted to try any drugs. Jokes aside that's really interesting. Internet. Chronic masturbation. Wikipedia I guess it's not a terrible habit to have, but I spend a lot of time on wiki marathons. This is one of my most rewarding time-wasting habits. I'm a compulsive Googler. Like literally anything I see, I'm like oh let me see what Wikipedia has to say about it, even things I've already done the same for multiple times before like maybe the information changed or something. Yes. Any person in history I hear about I have to Google. Then it leads me down a rabbit hole. Before I know it I've spent all evening reading wiki pages. Lego, specifically sorting pieces into categories. I can't get enough. Caffeine and tobacco with hint of porn. Chef's kiss. The praise and approval of others. I've worked hard to hide this fact, but it's definitely an issue. I feel this one. A friend of mine who I respect a lot recently told me he was proud of me. I stood up for myself, and boy, I've been chasing that high ever since. House plants. I have so 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 many house plants that when friends who haven't been over before come over, I get a lot of faces, followed by intense questioning. Short version summation it takes a whole day to check and water everyone. I use 16 gallons of water a week. No, not everyone is watered every week. Yes, I've killed a lot while learning how to house plant. I'd for sure but close to 400 most likely. Oops, tried to edit and failed the first time. Edit I know you're all so curious and want to see but I'm kind of terrified to post photos of my home here. Some DMs have called me a hoarder, some have called me the reason that plant poaching is taking a toll on native jungles, some have even accused me of being the reason that the fresh water in their areas are low. One person even went out of their way to DM me to tell me that the environment would be better off if I killed myself, and those people are the reason I've chosen plants, they don't talk back they don't have negative juju. For years I literally killed every plant that came into my possession. A few years ago, something clicked, and now I have so many plants that I literally helped build a greenhouse onto my garage. It's awesome, and I find puttering around in my greenhouse so calming after a day of peopling lol. <laughs>